All right, Mount Rodmore here, and I am back with Season 4, Episode 3 of Telltale's The Walking Dead game. And, uh, this is the second to last episode. Michonne was its own separate thing, and it came out before. But, yes, this is the, the penultimate Telltale Walking Dead episode. So let's get to it. The last one, we reunited with Lily, of all people. Previously and the guy who looks like dead. Weezing. While searching for a place to call home, trust our feelings for Violet. AJ and I found an old boarding school run by kids deep in the forest. Lily attacked and took Their Lewis. Their was a guy named Marlin. Omar and a sim. And AJ pulled the trigger. You know, I'll, I'll just let Clementine recap I told it for AJ you. he was justified for killing him. The other kids didn't see it that way. They voted to kick us out. I thought we'd never return. Then, AJ and I were attacked by Abel, one of the raiders Marlin had given the twins to. He was with someone I thought I'd never see again. Lily. We were almost eaten by walkers when suddenly one of them spoke to me. His name was James. An ex-whisperer who didn't believe in killing walkers. He helped me treat AJ, but without real medicine, he wouldn't make it. The kids didn't turn away the sad sight of AJ and let us back inside. After I told them how we could defend the school against the raiders, they were willing to let us stay, at least until the fight. I decided to help Violet in the bell tower. We looked at the stars together. And I admitted I had feelings for her. She mm -hmm. felt the same way. Then the raiders finally came. They busted open our gates, but the kids stayed hidden as planned. Until Ten ran out of cover, hoping for a chance to learn about his missing sisters. The bomb went off, and attempting to save Ten, Mitch threw himself at Lily and got a knife to the throat. Why didn't they take With Ten? I feel like he would have gone along willingly. I fired. And saved Violet. They got away with three of our friends, and we had no idea where they'd gone. But we knew someone who did. Mm -hmm. So, Abel, will you talk willingly? He's been prevented from coming back. Oh, wait. Lily actually took care of that. After she, she stabbed him in the neck, she stabbed him in the head. Like, in the forehead. At the start, I was so little. And, and Mitch looked after me. People said he was a dick sometimes. But he was always nice to me. Now he's gone. Stabbed in the eye by some asshole who never even knew his name. Look, I promise you, Willie, the people who did this, we're going to hit them back. They're gonna regret ever coming near us. If Mitch were here, he wouldn't cry. He'd find a way to get our friends back. He'd bash Lily's brains out with a rock. Hey, AJ's waiting for you in the basement. We got Abel tied up tight. He's alive, but he's out cold. Thanks. 
We should bury Mitch. It's time. I hope you can. Get away from him! You're the reason he's dead! Willie! Well, it's true! Oh. We had a plan, and that idiot messed it up! Hey, cut that shit out! Someone's gotta say it! It's what everyone's thinking! Ten! I'll take care of this. Talk to Abel, I find just feel out where we took Louis, Omar, and Asim. He doesn't know any better, clearly. And Clem, don't be afraid to, you know, hurt him a little. Maybe you'll get more out of him than we did. I believe in you. You can torture him. this first. I, I missed it the first time I played. My brother was actually in the chat, and he's like, make sure you grab the- oh, never mind. Oh, make sure you grab the collectible. And he's like, nah, never mind. Oh, that's, uh, that's Brody's blood. And that's more of Brody's blood. This is where- yeah, this is where Marlin killed her. The one by the gate was where I killed her. Hey, Rosie. You being a good girl? Yeah, I know you are. She's my dog now. Aw. Got your gun back, huh? Uh-huh. How exactly is he tied up? Ready? Like around his waist? Is his arm tied to the back of the chair or something? It feels like he can break out pretty easily. Yeah, you do it, AJ. Wake him up. Was he gonna kick him in the shin or something? <laughs> yep. Oh, fuck. Wake up, stupid shitting fuckhead. <laughs> well, that ain't no way to wake an old man up from his afternoon nap. I feel like you look older than you actually are. I was having a nice dream, too. About a girl I used to know from before. She also had me tied up, but I wasn't a prisoner if you get my meaning. <laughs> We're children. <laughs> no offense. I'd rather go back to my dream, so if you don't mind. <laughs> Damn it, Squirt. Easy on the broken parts. I don't like your voice. Well, I'm real sorry about that, but it's the only one I got. <clears throat> I was right in that and kidney. Don't call me Squirt. You're a Squirt. You never done this before. First thing you learn, I can't tell you shit if I pass out from the pain. Don't make this harder than it needs to be, okay? I just want to know where Lily took my people. It doesn't matter. As soon as she gets there, she's going to turn around and come right back for me. <laughs> you better give me the five-star treatment. If I'm smiling when she gets here, you might be able to trade me for a little mercy. We underestimated you little shits, but Lily won't make the same mistake twice. She'll be back. Trust me. She can't afford to leave anyone behind. You aren't gonna do that. You don't have it in you. Rosie's just a dog. 
Whatever Rosie does is her decision. Just tell us where they took our friends so we can get them back. <coughs> they will never give me. Rosie does know who the good ones are. The only reason we came here was for more manpower. Losing Jonathan and me. Three sprouts that can barely hold a gun. Even a dummy like me can do the math on that one. We're gonna get him back. You don't know what it's like out there. It's a bloodbath. One community against another. From Richmond to the coast. Back at the Delta, we're at war. With some really sick fucks who make me look like the Virgin Mary. We need people to fight it. Soldiers who do what we say. Point the guns the way we tell them to. You little turds are supposed to be easy pickings. That's called kidnapping. Give it whatever name you want. I call it survival. What kind of place is this Delta if they use forced labor to defend it? You think we like doing raids like this? Our home is under threat. It's a good home. Built to last. I'd do a lot to protect it. Maybe you can understand that. And I do a lot to get my friends back. So stop wasting my time. Okay. Front pocket. The answer to all your questions. If I pull it out and it's Read just it. a piece of paper with a middle finger drawn on it. Whatsoever part of the I'm sending Rosie after your junk. Footed, in truth, the cud among the beasts oh. that shall you eat. What the fuck? Is this code? No, it's fucking Leviticus. I was hoping it'd be some timely moralistic shit about turning the other cheek. Well, come on. That thing ain't gonna light itself. Wanna know where your friends are? The smoke will clear my mind. Help me remember stuff. I like where Lily went. Come on, kid. Don't make me wait all day. Oops. You little bitch! Well, how about that? He did take too much abuse. That's a lot of blood. Oh, fuck. This is not good. Well, you're not good, so... He's gonna die, isn't he? So if that's... Isn't that what you wanted? I did, but... You're gonna get your wish. When you pushed me off that balcony, something must have burst inside of me. <laughs> Shit. I never wanted things to end like this. Everything. It all got out of hand. Now look at me. I'm a fucking mess. Will he turn? No. <laughs> My whole life, everything I ever got, I got with my own two hands and my will. For my body, the dirt on me, to take control. I'll tell you where to find Lily. Just promise, you won't let me turn. <laughs> I'm begging you. I'm gonna do something a little different this time. Not what I did the first two times I played. How about this? How about you tell me everything you know, and then we'll see. I need assurances. That's as good as you're gonna get. Hurry up, Abel. You don't have much time. You wouldn't do it. You wouldn't let me become one of those things. Try me. <laughs> what if they... What if they can feel it when they turn? He 
is really broken. Huh. You'll find out soon enough. Maybe you just end up trapped, along for the ride. There are people trapped inside walkers? Yeah. Yeah. That's why you put a bullet in them. They're gonna turn. Or maybe that's why you let them. Okay. Okay. <coughs> in my boot, you'll find a paper with everything you need to know. AJ, check his boot. We have a boat. <laughs> that paper shows the miles to the dearest stops. <laughs> Those words, their city names, <laughs> we use them like a call and response. <laughs> Make sure we don't go shooting our own. <laughs> Only one we use these days is Rockingham. I can't believe you actually got me to give that up. <laughs> you, you got what you wanted. Please, don't let me become one of those things. Please, I don't want to turn. <laughs> So be it. Not that. I want to let me keep my face. <laughs> Getting a little choosy, aren't you, Abel? You don't need to watch this. I want to. Took him a relatively long time to die, considering he got stabbed in the head. Yeah. You just tortured a man in front of him. Well, you know. Come on, we have a boat to find. song so that takes care of Abel you just call me Cain because I killed Abel I mean he did have Bible verses he was using as cigarettes If you leave him to turn, then as you walk away, as Clementine's walking away, he calls her the C-word. So, yeah, I'm always going to kill him just for that. Just knowing the alternative. Let's call me the B-word enough. I hate doing that. It's the worst thing I do when I'm streaming. I yank this, my headset Once cord. Once we find the boat, we'll look for a way to sneak on board. And I have that moment of panic no, that I'm Tim about to yank my laptop and have it fall to the floor. It wasn't Tim's fault. Yes, it was. Mitch died because he... Say one more thing about Tim. I dare you. Guys, look. You 
you see anything? The beach, um, a boat, and a, a wood street in the water. That's called a pier. Hmm. Pier. Or a dock. Okay, let's spread out and focus on those areas. Keep your heads low. anything over here they have horses let me see are those torches I think so could be easy fire setting the hay on fire would get their attention scare the horses too we could get on the boat easier that way If we cut those horses free, we could slow down anyone trying to chase us. Yeah, but in the Walking Dead universe... Probably gonna spell their deaths, because there's nothing the Walking Dead universe loves more than killing horses. You ever seen this boat before? No. Marlin kept us confined to the safe zone. The pier leading up to the boat? It's our only way in and out. Well, let's the see. Chair's already is down sinking, there. and we're 22 minutes in. There are a few on deck, a couple others on the pier. Could be more inside. Looks like they're well armed, too. Wait, I see Lewis. Abel wasn't lying. This is it. Here has plenty of cover on it. If we're careful, we can sneak in undetected. I can see an entrance. I saw that too. It looks like there's a door at the other end. There's a small opening at the top of those closed doorways. AJ and I know how to deal with those. Pick them up. <laughs> yep, AJ sized. There's no good cover leading up to the boat. We're gonna need one hell of a distraction. Water! Well, that guy is a really Maybe good shot. Maybe if we could get walkers on the beach somehow. Maybe not as hard as you'd think. James, but probably wouldn't be happy about that. I don't see any obvious place to keep prisoners. They're probably below deck. We should have asked Abel. When he said on a boat, I didn't think it'd be this big. A rabbit's foot? Omar used to carry around a rabbit's foot. You don't think? We'll take it home. We can give it back to him once we've saved him. Anything useful? Looks like building material. Furniture. Probably stuff from the train station. Sheet metal, wood, and quite a bit of it. We should have that stuff. More torches. Torches? We could use the fire. Oh, yeah. They're loading those wraps with supplies. I could cut those loose and just ride them down river. Easy. We should get out of here before they spot us. We can talk through the plan once we're somewhere safe. Alright, so 
So we got a couple options. We can either use the horses as a distraction or the raft. Or we could do both. Maybe. I don't remember. What's the plan? Oh, they've got guards posted on the pier and the boat. There's no way we can take them all at once. Our only hope is to distract them while we sneak on board. We should burn their stuff. That'd work. We could burn the supplies or the hay they keep for the horses. Whatever we don't burn, we should take. Ruby would love to have the horses. But I'd rather steal those supplies. I could build traps. Weapons. Burn the I'll supplies. Take the horses. We'll take the horses and the hay if we can. Ruby would help with that. She's like a horse whisperer. The fire will lure the raiders right. away. We're from doing the this boat, one for Ruby. We can sneak across the pier. If anyone sees us, they'll shoot. You remember that guy I told you about, James? He sent in walkers to save us from Lily and Abel. Maybe we could convince him to do it again. If we lead a big enough group of them onto the beach, we can blend in without being seen. Sorry about the chair. This chair is about 20 years old. Perfect. What about after we get everyone home? And it just sank I mean, again. The Raiders will just come attack us again. What then? Hide, quick! A raider has to be. You all stay here. I'll see if they know anything that could help us. Drop it. you steal I don't know what you're I'm not fucking around answer the question <laughs> the boiler deck uh, second deck they're all there Clementine wait <laughs> that that's Minnie After the attack, I wasn't sure. I mean, I heard they burned half your school down. Who survived? Ruby? Mitch? Brody? Ten? Ruby and Ten made it. Mitch didn't. And Brody, um, she died. Ten's boots holding up okay? His boots? They're so old, there are more holes than rubber. I duct taped him up the last time I saw him, but that was a while ago. His boots are fine. You're Clementine. The girl who took over after Marlin died. It's weird. I thought everyone would want to lean on their own. Not the new kid. Violet's the one in charge. Really? The Violet I knew could barely stand to talk to people, let alone play class president. Sorry. You're the one who convinced the school to fight back. From where I'm standing, that puts you in charge. Your leadership is going to get my little brother killed. Excuse By me? By your people. Abel figured he could talk Marlin into handing everyone over like he and Lily did... ...like they did before. You ruined the whole plan. What the hell? He gave you and Sophie away. Yeah, and we all survived it. Marlon would have never made them fight the way you did. He wouldn't have gotten people killed. He killed Marlon. Many are wrong. Clem protected us. Yeah. Then how come so many people are dead? He wouldn't have gotten people killed. He murdered Brody. What? Where's Sophie? Is she alive? She died protecting the Delta. A hero. A 
hero? God, you Nerva! Shit. Oh. Rockingham! Finish up and head back. I want to be in before dark. Yes, ma'am. Our boat leaves for the Delta in two days. Then it'll be a couple of weeks before we can come back for the rest of you. When we do, don't fight. The only way you're gonna save your people is to let us take them. I'm serious. Don't fight this. Wow, you really drank the Kool-Aid. If could see you now, he'd be oh, ashamed shit. to call you his sister. Are you okay? Nothing's changed. Our plan is to get onto the boat and save our friends. So that's what we're gonna do. Oh my god, I hate this chair! You all should head home. Start getting things ready. Get everyone caught up on the plan. Everyone except ten. I warned you. Enough, both of you. AJ and I will go find James. Good luck. Also, this chair is pretty uncomfortable, so I'm constantly having to adjust to find a, a good spot. And that's what's making the chair sink. So, how many walkers do you think James will help us get? Fifteen? A hundred? A thousand? Clem, I don't... Ow. Gunshot wound. It feels like someone pinched me from inside. Here. Let's rest a second. Clem, I, I keep thinking. When Willie said all that stuff about Tim before, I got so mad. He was being mean. And Tim wasn't even there to defend himself. I wanted to hurt him. I know I shouldn't, but I just can't stop thinking about it. I want to just punch his head. I tried breathing, kicking rocks. I don't like this feeling. Wanting to hurt somebody. It's okay to get mad at people. You can't help that. But those thoughts have to stay in your head, okay? Don't act on them. Ever. Okay. I'm strong. AJ will remember that. I, I hope it doesn't what come I back do. to bite me. But not what I think. Like, I think... I think I'm mad at Tin, too. Running out of cover when Lily attacked the school was really stupid. But he just doesn't know stuff like we do. And then yep. Willie started yelling at him instead of helping him learn. Why don't the other kids know all the stuff we know? When there's a plan, you have to follow it. And when you yell at someone, it just makes them not listen. Well, the other kids haven't had it as hard as we've had. We had to make a lot of mistakes to learn what we know. Yeah. I guess. But Tin's mistakes are just so bad. Maybe he'll learn from them too, like we did. It's weird that people are so different. <laughs> it is Erickson's boarding school for troubled youth. Troubled youth. Trouble like bad? So they did bad things? Why? <sighs> okay, um, sometimes they do them because bad things happen to them. I knew a doctor once, back when you were just a baby. He called it trauma. You have some too, you know. 
the thing where people can't walk up behind you? I don't like my trauma. I want to get it off of me. How do I get rid of it? I don't even like the way the words sound. It's really, really hard to do by yourself. A lot of people can't without some help. Like from a doctor? Sure, but those are rare these days. Mm-hmm. Or, or like the school, right? It was supposed to help with people's trauma? Yeah, it was. And now they help each other. I still like them. I like Tim the most, I think. Even if he does dumb things. Actually, I think he's my first real friend. Oh yeah? I thought I was your first real friend. Well, yeah, but you don't count. You're old. Really? I'm not. After everything oh, Clementine's I, been through, we also gotta second have her real deal with being called old. I don't see James. Just monsters. <clears throat> James? You're hurt. Did the Raiders do this? It looked like they had people from your school. Why are you here? Those people you saw, we're going to save them. But to do that, we need your help moving some walkers. could maybe help, but my mask is still in the camp, inside my bag. I can't pass through a herd without it. Okay, then let's go get it. Please, I just... I just ask that you don't kill them, the walkers. If you distract them, I can sneak over and find my mask. Distract all of them? Please. I'll... I'll try. I'm dead. Yep. Good job, James. Good job. Look at you being non-violent. Look at where it got me. Selfish. I can keep this up. Did you find your mask? I can't find it. The horses must have... There! Oh, shit. How did you run. not see that? Hey! Over here! EJ! No! There are too many of them! The cart. If we push it, the noise will draw them away.
DJ, are you okay? Yeah, no bites. James, I noticed that you spared the I know walkers. it would have been easier to kill them. Be better Our at kind. least. I appreciate it. Really. Thank you for helping me get this back. What was that, he, that other thing he pulled out of his bag? Now, how will Walker save your friends? They're being held captive on a boat not too far from here. We can't sneak on board without cover, not without the raiders gunning us down. You want to use walkers to hide? To sneak on board their ship? That's insane. It's our only chance. I have something I need you to see, so you can understand what you're asking. James. We still need his help, right? Yeah, we do. It's safe. He has an unhealthy attachment to walkers. Just a little further. Like, they're still dangerous. No matter what you want to believe, James. Like, with Morgan, I kind of understood. Not wanting to kill a living, breathing person. But James doesn't want to kill walkers. Oh, God. Clem, what's this? It's called a salt lake. Salt lake? Ugh, sounds gross. Or maybe it's actually good, like chips. Those are salty, right? Like the snack bag in the car. Can I lick it? Go ahead. Lick it if you want to. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Tastes nasty. <laughs> well, now you know. Ugh, learning sucks. One of the dialogue options is like when if Clem says, "Please don't lick it," and she's like, "Don't lick it. It's gross." AJ's like, "Did you have you ever licked it?" And she just goes, "I don't know." Just like in season one. That's a fun little shout out. Beat Nick. One of Isco Broccoli's chive talking friends. Well, beat Nick. That means my favorite, because I'm Nick. My favorite character from that show. Or whatever. It was. Yeah, I think she said it was a show. My people. My former people. They had a practice. They called it. Collecting. them as a weapon. I do this to protect them. I know it sounds strange, but that's why I brought you here. To see them as I do. As people. As people? Well, not people exactly, but <sighs> something in between. Part of us is still in there. Deep down. So few of us die anymore. We turn. 
Not dead, not alive. Well, you can't prove that, James. Look, I've heard some weird things, but walkers having a soul? Like I said, I know how it sounds. Do you really think there's people inside of monsters? Somewhere. Yes. But think about it this way. Has someone you cared about turned? Clem's friend, Lee. She shot him before he did. So he wouldn't have to suffer. Sorry. Maybe this wasn't the best way to explain. Didn't mean to bring up difficult memories. I lived among walkers for years. Still do, in a way. When they're alone, they're harmless. Innocent. If you want my help, I need you to try and walk with them. Then tell me if you really believe they're just monsters. They are just monsters. They're not people or friends. Clem. She'll be safe, I promise. This isn't smart. It's too dangerous. She just needs to move as they do. If it gets bad in there, I'll need you to save me, okay? Can you do that? I... Yes. I'll always protect you. I know you will. The first rule is never go alone. I'm not leaving you. I'll be right back. Find the exit. We only have I one will. mask, AJ. Don't let fear take over. I will. I promise. The mask will disguise your scent. But be gentle. And be quiet. Touch the wind chime. You'll see. Okay, so they get distracted by sound. We knew that already. kiddo it's all right i'm fine see no bites no bites so do you still think they're just monsters now that you've seen them at peace any different at all yeah i do they're still just monsters 
dangerous things that want to kill us. That's what I thought you would say. It's what I thought I about said playing along once. But... Have you yeah. ever killed a walker before? I have. Many. Have you ever killed a person? Many. But that was a long time ago. I've killed someone before too. AJ. You've killed someone? But I was justified. I see. <sighs> That's enough. What about the walkers? Are you going to help us save our friends? I thought I could, but I can't. So many walkers would die. All of the death this would cause. I'm sorry, Clementine, but I can't have more blood on my hands. James, the walker in the barn, the one with the different eyes, what was his name? His name? What do you... How about the woman in the back, near the wind chimes? What's her name? I... I don't know. Asim. Omar. Lewis. Those are the names of my friends, the ones who were stolen by the raiders. I'll never forget that. I may be stubborn, but I'm not heartless. Those raiders are cruel. They force others to be the same. And even if your friends think like you, no one deserves that. It'll take some time to guide them through the forest to the shore. Others will join the herd as they go. Tomorrow night, be ready. I can't undo this. He is going to help us. Also, did you notice the moment of hesitation where Clementine was saying the names? A sim. Come on, AJ. Omar. Let's get back before it's too dark. Lewis, because, you know, it had to register which one got taken, Lewis or Violet. I've never met anyone like James before. I mean,. He's tough. Not like you, though. He doesn't kill monsters, but he's not scared of them either. He's cool. Hey, Clem. Willie told me the plan. How'd things go with that guy? James. He agreed to help us. If somebody told me we were gonna sneak onto a boat and a herd of walkers, I'd have called them crazy. What are you doing with those? Oh, well, I wanted to throw one last hoot nanny before the big fight. Swear? Huh? It sounds like a swear. No, it's just another word for party. Right. I know it sounds strange, throwing a it's party, a redneck word for it. people need something to lift their spirits right about now. This could be our last chance. Mm. I wanted to make some tea for everyone. Could I borrow your little heater thing? What can I do? We need to pretty up the old music room. Could you make us something colorful to hang up? Okay, I'll be an artist. I'm gonna make the deck, uh, the decor. Decoration. A decoration for the party. Okay. I'll get the heater. Well, let's decorate the room first.
Cool pride. Go Erickson. Go where? No, like cheering them on. Save that for last. There, for luck. Are bunnies lucky? Just their feet. We could use a little luck. What's his name? Beat Nick. <laughs> That's funny. Do you even get what the joke is? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm gonna show him the tin later. How's the drawing coming? Can I see? Nope, it's not done yet, but it is pretty good. All right, good talk. That was me when I was a kid. Like, I watched Whose Line Is It Anyway all the time when I was a kid. I didn't get most of the jokes, but I didn't care. I was still laughing. Just the energy the guys had. That always made me laugh. I'm done, Clem. Come see. Okay, be right there. Colin Mockery was my favorite just because he was just always so wacky. <laughs> Hey, you're getting better at this. Soon you'll be as good an artist as Ten. I don't know. He's really good. Something wrong? AJ? I was just thinking about stuff while I was drawing. There are three kind of eyes, Clem. Hmm. Oh, yeah? There are live people eyes. We got those. Then there's monsters eyes. They usually look like dirty water. Other times, monsters eyes aren't even wet. And then there are live people eyes right as you kill them. Like you did to Abel. His, his eyes look like you blew a candle out. He was a bad guy. I know I shouldn't feel like this. I hated him AJ too. getting deep on us. I think there's something wrong with me. You know what, AJ? Everything you're feeling is okay. It makes you a good person. Am I good? I wish what we did felt good. Part of me wants to like it. I'm getting real smart. <laughs> is that right? Yes, because I'm always thinking all the time. Okay. What are you thinking about right now? You getting bit, turning into a monster. Oh. Yeah. The older I get, the more I see. Well, I was a downer. I don't know why. What happens then? Anyone can get bit. Doesn't matter if you're inside or outside or how careful you are. AJ, we've talked about this a lot. If I get bit, you know what has to happen. I don't want to talk about this anymore. But you brought, brought it, up. it up, so we're going to. It does something weird to my stomach. Like I'm going to get the dookies. <sighs> AJ, I need to know you remember what we talked about. What you're supposed to do if it happens. Like I'm going to get the me. dookies. If I get bit, you'll... Shoot. No. No, I'm not gonna do that. AJ, you promised. I don't care. I'm not gonna shoot you. If you get bit, I'd want you to bite me too. What? You don't mean that. I don't wanna be alone. Please don't be mad. I can't live with you not with me, Clem. I know we've talked about it so much, but don't make me. Alvin Jr., you know you're not supposed to talk like this. You're too strong and too brave. I don't think I am anymore about this. Yes, you are. You are, okay? <sighs> mm. 
You can't break promises, AJ. I know. You're not letting this go, are you? James said... <sighs> Guess not. That we could be around when we're monsters. Like on the inside. If you got bit and then bit me, then maybe we'd still be together. It would just be a different together. We might even be okay. You think so? James said a lot of things about the monsters. And most of it was crazy pants, AJ. <laughs> so you don't think I would be inside my monster self? There is no monster self, kiddo. Nothing that makes you, you would be in there. Mm -hmm. Can I go patrol for a bit? Before the party? Sure, go ahead. Be careful. Mm. What's with AJ? He just needs some space. Can we talk about what happened today? With Minnie? Yeah, sure. What's wrong? The thing is, seeing Minnie, I feel like it should have scared me, but it didn't. The person we ran into in the woods, that wasn't Minnie. Not really. The way she sounded and acted, the way she talked about Sophie and Lily. <laughs> I'm, I'm confused, I guess. You know you can't trust her, right? She's been with those people for over a year. It sucks, but I don't know what else I expected. Minnie? The real Minnie. She's gone. She's been gone this whole time, and I... have to stop mourning her. I won't let her take you or AJ. Or anyone else I care about. Lewis knows when to keep his head down. Yeah, shit. Oh, I, I, I hope so. You know, when I first got I mean, here, I hated him. He is a bit of a talker. So much. You know, he walks into a room and it's like, look at me, watch me perform. It's so stupid. But Lois does I have that I'm main character that. energy. He really cares about people. And he doesn't just feel it. He says it. I'll tell you every damn day how much you mean to him shit he'll probably I don't know how long I've had day. one viewer I just Especially checked for the first time in a while a famous song but your name thank you for it. being here <clears throat> we've got to get him back we will Louis Omar Asim we'll get them all back um I made you this Stars. So you never forget that night. I never will. Hmm. When that you night told I'll me never you were for me, I was shocked. Then I started thinking. There's something I've always wanted to try with someone I cared about, and I never have. What is it? Have you ever danced with anyone before? Nope. Do you... wanna? Just us. No one else around. I mean, I know it's kinda weird, but it's... something I've always wanted to try. I forget if you can do this with Lewis. I think you can, but I don't remember. Thanks for the dance. Yeah, we're getting better at being romantic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, 
Wow. Where did you find a beach ball? It was in some garbage behind one of the dorms. I had to blow it up, and, and that was pretty gross. But look, it works. I would imagine. <laughs> look at this thing. It's belting. I should get going. Ruby could probably use some help. It's cool, right? Super cool. <laughs> Back! <laughs> You're terrible. Hey! I almost bopped it off his head, but that might have been what I did last time. I love you, Clem. I love you back, kiddo. <sighs> okay. Boy, we gotta get ready to go. Right now Sounds like they time. need us in the music room. Okay. It's nice. Looks like things are coming together. Yeah. We still need to figure out lighting, music, and something to write on that banner. If we're gonna die, we should have some fun first. Music? But Lewis isn't here. See that? <laughs> it's like Lewis in a box. Wouldn't be a party without some kind of mood lighting. I've been going back and forth between colors for ages. Green's calming, but purple might be nice. Rim gets natural moonlight, so something to compliment that, maybe? Let's hmm. go purple. Well, purple was my dad's favorite color. I read somewhere purple was a color of royalty. Purple. <laughs> really? Plus, Clem's hat is purple. I like purple. Purple Shouldn't and white. Shouldn't you like but, it, too? You know. Violet. <laughs> I'll make it happen. <laughs> Touche, Ruby. So you take one of those black things that look like plates, and you put it on here. And then it plays music? Uh-huh. And now you just have to turn that crank on the side. Pulled out the old headmaster's gramophone so he could play some records. Not much of a selection, but... Well, I hate country do. music. Just tell me what Did you want to listen to. jazz last time. You guys have any classical? You bet. Are we using the banner for some kind of party theme? Mm, not exactly. It's meant to be more motivational. I'd keep it short, though. There's not as much room as you think. I was thinking something uplifting, like, we're gonna get through this. Just trying to instill some confidence, you know? Straight and to the point. We're getting them back. Yeah, we sure are. Okay, we'll have Ten break out his paintbrush and ride it out. This place is gonna look great. Oh, and Willie was asking for you. He's up in Marlin's office. He said he had a surprise for the party, but he wanted to show it to you first. Hey, Clem, check it out. I found a bunch of books on ships. There's some awesome stuff about fires at sea and explosions and stuff. The key is the boiler. Wait, what are you talking about? I have Which an idea you how to make about bombs, how to stop huh? those assholes coming back to the school after we've rescued the others. And from hurting anyone else ever again. We're gonna blow up the boat. It's the only way to make sure they don't come back. Besides, it feels right, you know? For Mitch. Nice. Mitch would love this plan. <laughs> I know, it's perfect. I can't think of a better memorial than to blow that boat out of the water. The tricky bit is timing the explosion so that it happens after you get off the boat. Trust me, this'll work. We'll be okay. Okay, everybody. 
Get ready to boogie. And, um, Clem, I'm sorry for before, about how he treated Ten. I didn't mean to get so angry. I know it's not his fault. That's nice, Willie, but don't tell me. Tell Ten. Looks great, Ruby. Couldn't have done it without you. But just wait till you see what else I've got planned. Go ahead and mingle. I'll let you know when it's time. I guess I'll mingle. <laughs> I see you two are working together. Yeah, Willie asked me to help with his special project. Well, that's good to hear. Is it ready? Good to go, Clem. It'll work. Actually, uh, I was thinking maybe we should name it something cool. I mean, I think it deserves a name. All the best bombs have names. Yeah, we absolutely have to name it. I thought you'd make fun of me, but hell yeah. Let's name this fucker. How about Mitch's masterpiece? Yeah, I like that. Mitch would have too. Okay, then it's settled. <laughs> I've learn how to them. dance. Okay, Clementine. These here are our official Ericsson psych evaluations and probationary <laughs> reports. Okay. I don't get it. Well, these explain why all of us got sent to this school in the first place. And all the bad shit we did that kept them from sending us back home. So, what's the game? I figured if we're all going on this crazy mission together, we might as well know who we really are. So, I'll read some of what the adults thought about us. And you have to guess which one of us fits the bill. I'll make sure it's someone you've actually met. This'll be the first one. While otherwise a remarkable student, blank continues to be plagued by fits of anger, uncontrollable cursing, and repeated physical altercations with the senior faculty. That sounds like Violet. That's gotta be Violet. Nope, way scarier. That's Ruby's file! <laughs> Holy shit, really? Guilty as charged. Oh, yeah. yeah. I just remembered it wouldn't be You should be have seen Ruby back in the early days. She was like, uh... You ever seen those Tasmanian devil cartoons when you were a kid? <laughs> that was our Ruby. We used to have a mean streak a mile long. <laughs> Don't worry. That was a long time ago. Now I mean, she's like I the mom totally of the I can totally see it. <laughs> the first time I met Ruby, she was all... That little motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good I said I was sorry. You guys want to know why I got sent here? Oh, God. Willie, please, no. Chronic masturbation. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Nobody wanted to know that. What does that mean? <laughs> uh, don't you dare. <laughs> Uh, anyway, <laughs> maybe we should change up the music? Oh, like all kind of different music, I think. There's a lot of them. How many? I don't know. A lot. Sure, we've heard enough of this. Break out the jazz. I don't want to listen to country music. I listened to country music one time. Like in one place, Texas Roadhouse. I didn't realize how many of us we've lost. 
Those Maybe burgers are worth that. listening to some country music. And Carissa and Jasper, that one girl with colored braces, and Joey, Maddie, Lamar. Aaron. Yeah, I used to make fun of her braces. Why did I do that? Alex, Dewey, Trey, Stephanie. Thanks. Holy crap, how many of us died? 34. Whose is it? Lewis. Should we read it? I could tell you why I was sent here instead. You know, as a consolation prize or whatever. You might hate me after, but since we're all being so I remember what Lewis's reason open, was, but I forget all. what Violet's was. So. I was hoping you'd tell me. I spent a lot of time at my grandma's house growing up. What with my dad being a drunk and my mom working three jobs. But after my grandpa died, grandma just kind of shut down. Spent all day and night rocking in her little chair in the den. I'd sit there at her feet as we both watched TV. Mostly cartoons, since she never seemed to care. Sometimes I could hear her crying, but I didn't look back. I'd just feel really weird and turn up the volume, you know? Anyway, one day she left the den and came back with another chair and a 22 rifle. Set the rifle butt on the top of the chair, holding the barrel back to her chest. So, you know, she had trouble reaching the trigger this way, but she must have known it would happen because she took out this really tacky wooden back scratcher, the real long kind with the one end shaped like a hand, and uh, used that to push the trigger. So yeah, bang, right? Uh, her body folded up and just kept rocking. Yikes. My mom came to get me five hours later. I hadn't moved. She asked why I didn't call the police or an ambulance or anything. I just shrugged and told her it wasn't like grandma was going anywhere. And besides, I just wanted to finish my cartoons. Dang. She shipped me off to Erickson the next day. I was 11. Worst party ever. I'm so Not sorry, Violet. I can't imagine what that was like. What you went through. Chair sank it's again fine. in the middle of the story because, We've of course, it did. have just been through a lot of shit. We weren't good people, Clementine. But it still doesn't mean that we should have been left here to die by the people that were supposed to take care of us. Sorry. This is supposed to be fun. I'm, I'm just not the game type, like Lewis was, I guess. You mean is. We'll see him soon. Ten's right. Hey, I've got an idea. Do you guys remember when Minnie would sing us Don't Be Afraid when all of us used to get scared? Too bad I can't play it. Who would have known her? He liked that one. You could just sing it to us like she used to. Your voice is really pretty. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. I, uh, I can do that.
wash away the tears Sing away your heavy heart The night will be over soon The night will be over soon For every night goes quiet And every moon grows blue Beyond the dark comes something the sun will be rising soon. The sun will be rising soon. The sun will be rising soon. Well, not too heavy or anything. moment where Willie sits down next to Ten. Despite how mean he was, he knows that that was his sister's song. So, And you can see the look on Ten's face, how much it was hurting him. Yeah, that, that one almost got me, and this is also probably going to get me. Because we're back in Season 1. And there he is. Hey, Sweet Pea. Oui? Sweet Pea. <laughs> Why the train? You always pick the train. I'm not sure. Oh, well, the last Maybe flashback was Because this is where it all started. Where you taught me to shoot and to cut my hair. To be ready for what was coming. And where all the sadness with Duck happened. Uh, you were a quick study. So, what's on your mind this time? I'm worried, Lee. I've got a lot of people depending on me. And I don't know if what I'm doing is right. Oh, I know that feeling. You know, I was uh, making it all up as I went along, right? Couldn't let on, of course. With you being so little. I never noticed. It just felt like you always knew the right thing to do. Yeah? Well, I got lucky. Luck counts for a lot. I'm gonna need some now. You wanna tell me about what you're up against? I'm with a new group now. And I've been in... So many. And they always fall apart. But I really like this one. It's different. It almost feels like home. No, I haven't been talking much lately. That's I'm a just, good thing. I'm just Talk basking in all the things. But we're in trouble. Some bad people captured my friends. And getting them back might get the rest of us killed. I'm not worried. What? Whatever trouble you're in, you get out of it. You get your friends out of it. Thanks, Lee. You don't know that. I know you're a survivor. Oh, I appreciate the support. Clementine, I know what's going to fix it. I really believe that. You're right. I just needed to hear you say it. I'm going to get my friends out of this. Every one of them, alive. That's right. Imagine what Lewis is gonna say when he sees your face. Those boys are gonna have hope again, knowing that you came to rescue them. <sighs> oh, Sweet Pea, you know you always get like this before something big. Remember how scared you were before you charged into that mess at McCarroll Ranch? You survived that, didn't you? That was different. 
I was alone. I know. It's harder when you have something to lose. But having people you care about, that's a good thing. Friends. A girl who loves you. They're fighting beside you. Because of you. Come see me again. When you've gotten them out, okay? Out and safe. Sounds That's probably good. The, the original group. And fell hopefully apart. we can talk about happier things. If Larry would have been very against. They meant what I said. Larry would have been very against Clementine being in love with a girl. We'll make it. I'm just, you know. Myself up to it. Kenny might have said something a little awkward at first, but <sighs> to think I think he would have come around. Here. I was just following the advice of an old drunk we just met. Hey, but Chuck, you, shout out. You have a knack for surviving. You've kept those kids alive. They look up to you. You're a leader, Clem. A natural. Thank you, Lee. Talking to you always makes me feel a little bit better. meant to ask. How's the boy? He's good, Lee. You'd like him. I bet. You teach him to shoot yet? <laughs> you have no idea. I guess the world got pretty hard since I left it. A kid growing up in it, he'd be hard too. You're in my shoes now, raising the kid. Think you got a handle on it? It can't be easy. Wanted to give him a childhood, but knowing what it takes to survive now. It was easier for me since the world was just changing. But you're living in one that's changed completely. You doing okay? AJ's amazing, Lee. I've taught him to be strong and brave and capable. He'd be so proud. You mean? More than I already am. keep moving, Lee. But I'm tired of running. I... I have a home now. Then you're off the hook. A home is better than I could have ever hoped for. Time to go, Clementine. You've got people that need you. Again, sorry I've been so quiet. Just Clem, you know, wake up. Just take it up. It's time to go. Snap back to we reality. Have a long walk. Wow, way to, uh, way to attract attention to yourself. Couldn't use the bow and arrow. I guess we're really doing this. 
Only the team blending in with the walkers need to cover themselves. Now we just need your walker friend to hear. Good lord. Uh, <laughs> hello. <laughs> Guys, this is James. He's my friend. He's, uh, so cool. How do you get a skin yeah, like that? Uh, oh, I, um, Clementine? Can I try it on? That's not a good idea. Come on, please. Well, be quiet. Someone might hear you. Loud is bad. I'm not even being that loud. Shut up. Sorry. I'll be quiet. Oh, and sorry I tried to shoot you that one time. Your mask looks so real. I, uh, uh, hey. Hey there, James. Sorry about Willie. Is this the guy that Clem said she'd flip? <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Oh, Clementine, could I speak to you alone for a moment? Good idea. Yes. Hold tight. Let's, let's hey, not Tank, discuss what was just said. There's something I have to tell you. The walkers. They'll be here in a little while. You can join them as they pass through the trees. The noise from the boat will draw them toward the water. Then we can get on board and save our friends. Your friends are... different. Open-minded. Accepting. Maybe and a little one day it'll be the same. Oh, for God. Sake. Dude, you're wearing Listen, a walker's face on your I face. I need to talk to you about AJ. And you, you don't Maybe think I'm open-minded? The fact that I haven't shot you yet? Whispers or my family from a young age. In that time, I witnessed a lot of death and suffering. Eventually, I became the cause of it. Weakness was considered a poison, and I believed in that. Fiercely. So much so, that when another boy expressed sympathy for our enemy before an attack, I slit his throat. I didn't talk to him. Didn't consider who he was, what he felt. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even remember his name. All I knew was someone like him would only slow us down. That was enough of a reason for me. You killed someone innocent? A child? That's horrible. I know that now. But then I didn't care. It had to be done. After he died, I kept hearing his words in my head. Those people are like us, just on a different path. I stopped killing after that. I changed. No one else did. When AJ told me he killed someone, it reminded me of them. Of myself. When he said it was the right thing to do. Taking life like that from a young age, it breaks something inside you. Yeah, I just well, wasn't I'm afraid if AJ kills again, he won't be able to go choice. back. He won't be the same boy he was. I've seen it happen too many times. Don't tell me how to raise him. I'm the one who's kept him alive this long. Not you. I'm trying to help you save him. It's just some advice from someone who's been there, too. They're close. Soon there will be enough of them to provide us cover. Listen, Morgan, I'll I mean, James, through the herd don't until get you soft on me now. That's as far as I go. After that, it's up to you. Thank you. Take care of AJ. Okay. It's not really he's AJ's choice that he's in such a the walkers are getting close. violent world, you know? Ruby, you're in charge so of the horses. So I gotta prepare him for it. Willie, Ted, take care of the supplies. I've got the bomb. Find the boiler. There'll be a door on the bottom with ash and stuff. Put it in there. See you 
wall on the other side. I'll cut it open. Violet told me about Minnie. That Sophie died, and Minnie is one of them now. Just... If you see her out there, tell her... Tell her I forgive her. Please. I tell her myself, but... I just want her to be okay. She won't listen to me, Ted. There's no way. So you won't even try? I would have done it for you. Ten. Well, that was a, a little meaner than I expected it to be. I didn't think it'd be quite like that. Hey, it's time. We gotta move. Glenn? What happens if someone else gets caught while we're in there? What if it's you? I couldn't save Minnie or Lou or a Sim. Omar. I, I, I really care about you, Clem. If something happened to you because of me, I can't lose you, too. I won't. You better not disappear on me, okay? I promise. <laughs> what are you doing? Go look in another direction. Are we good? Yeah, I think so. Okay, let's bring our friends back home. All of them. All of them. It's ready. So, I know this is gonna sound gross, but... Covering your smell. <laughs> Smart. Thank you for being so on board with it, Violet. Get my back. Thanks. You gonna do it? We're doing it. Careful putting that blood so close to your eyes, Clem. Remember, Gabriel on the show, he went half blind. Went blind in one eye. Okay, follow my lead. For a while, he couldn't see out of that. Here we go. Permanently blind in one eye, temporarily the other. Stay behind the walkers. Use them as shields. Oh, I feel like this part killed me a lot. What's going on? 
Oh boy. Okay, now's our chance. I forgot about that. We can't risk leaving cover. We'll have to crawl along the side of the dock. Yep, still is. Follow me. This way. Oh god, it's like Pirates of the Caribbean. Yep, saw that coming. I'm not just saying I saw that coming because I've played this game before. It's been a while, but, you know, I'm sure I saw it coming the first time I played. Stay close. Stay hidden. Thought I'd die a couple times in that, but I didn't die once. So, yay me. The only time I've died in this episode is when James forced me to not kill any walkers. I mean, he didn't force me. You can still kill him, but he judges you. I mean, he's okay with it if you kill a few, but... We're getting close. After we find the boiler and place the bomb, we'll get our friends out. Ninny said they keep prisoners on the second deck. Look out for guards and stay quiet, okay? Right behind you. Good. I'll scout ahead and signal when it's clear. Got it? Oh boy. That guy looked like Badger. and get back to your post. <laughs> Asshole. Hey, Glenn. This has got to be the boy, though, right? Yeah, it looks like it. That's where we need to plant the bomb. There's too much stuff in the way. Maybe there's another way in.
Wait here. James isn't here, so there's no one to judge me for doing this. Couldn't risk keeping him alive. The more he shoots, the more likely he is to shoot one of my friends. Masterpiece. Bury this thing in the bottom of the river. Once they start up this boat, we won't have much time before it explodes. How long? Not sure. An hour, 30 minutes. Let's hurry up then. Okay, I guess we're climbing the stairs. Focus. Yes, ma'am. I, I have a little brother, just a short, scarred face. Is he... He's not out there, is he? Look, we've discussed this. Your family is Delta now. There ain't no room for anyone else. Yes, ma'am. Oh, these people are sick. Oh, shit. Of course she had to be the cell guard. We can't sneak past her. Without our people. I swear to God, if you got Tin caught up in this, just, just tell me that he's safe. Give me that. He told me to tell you. He forgives you. <sighs> Shit. I'll help you get everyone out. Then you take my brother and run. Get him back to where it's safe. Come on, we have to hurry. Clementine? Holy fuck! Oh my god, are you okay? Seminole Mark. Seminole Mark. I. Uh, yeah, I'm alright. We're alright. Take care of Louis first. He's. he's in rough shape. I'll unlock the other cell. We don't have a lot of time before Dorian comes back. Violet, help me with these guys. Got it. Lewis. Lewis. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Please. Don't no. fucking point that at me. Come in, Violet. Don't stop me. Truly is one of them. It's all just a trap to get me in here. She is truly sick. Huh? Oh. Lewis. <laughs> they do to you? Oh. No! No, no, don't. They, they, uh, they cut out his tongue. He just, uh, he kept fucking talking. Oh, my God. Sounds like him. I'm sorry, Lewis. <laughs> I'll make these bastards pay for this. I promise you, Lewis. Mm. Mm. 
It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. He'll be home soon. Staying here that long. That was weird. I pressed the button and it just put me to the wall. Like I was just pressing my face against the wall. Clem, are you all right? I'm fine. Where's AJ? Over here. Thank God. Shit. At least we're not moving yet. We've still got time to figure this out. You doing okay in there, AJ? Yeah. I'm all right. I'm looking for a way out. Yeah, me too. The doors don't look very well made. Maybe that's something we can work with. Vi, are you all right? I'm fine. Looking for a way out. If this thing explodes... I might be able to chip away at this if I had a tool or... Damn it. They must have taken away my knife. Well, that was sort of a AJ. given. Do you still have your knife? Yeah, they didn't find it. Only the big one. Good. I need you to slide it over to me. I feel so bad for Lois, like... He is just, he's naturally talkative, and now he's never going to talk again. That's, that's a lot. I'll get us out of here. I promise. Don't. I promise you. It ain't worth it. Step I promise back. you. You're dead. She awake? Yes, ma'am. Good. Speaking of people who are dead. I'll take it from here. Where's Abel? He's dead. We killed him. We put a knife in his head. Fuck. You little monster. Damn it! That was my call. I killed him myself. Back up. Minerva, open the door. Yes, ma'am. Your powers of brainwashing are quite impressive, Lily. 
Normally, the trouble you caused, I'd shoot you and toss you overboard. But I'm genuinely impressed. First, you organize these idiot kids into a fighting force and kill two of my most experienced soldiers. Then you sneak onto my boat under the cover of a herd. I bring a prize like you back to the Delta, it might make this whole clusterfuck of a mission worth it. Someone like you, so young with so much potential, you're far too valuable to kill. I'm not your prize. You're crazy if you think I'd ever fight for you. Everyone talks like that when they first join. You'll come around. You know, my father, like Larry, like... was a military man. And when I was a kid, he had all kinds of rules. The thing that bugged him most was waste. If I ever left a light on after leaving a room, <laughs> he'd flip. No matter how many times he ranted about the cost of electricity, I could never remember to hit that switch. So? So one day, he let our power get cut. He liked illustrations to show that actions have consequences. No more TV, Shocker. Larry no was more hair dryer, no more ice cream sandwiches. Just a miserable family sitting in the dark. I always hated your dad. Right from the start, when he tried to throw Duck out of that drugstore we were hiding in. He never gave a damn about what people thought of him. My father had his faults, but he showed me the effectiveness of teaching by example. Oh, is that what this is? A lesson? I want to tell you a story. Let's call it I don't the parable hear of the twins. You talk anymore. Two girls were taken from their home and brought to a new place to live. And you're proud of taking they them. They had to leave their friends and family behind, and that was hard at first. They shed a lot of tears. But the new place was a good place. The people there grew corn and raised pigs, and the twins ate well for the first time in years. They had hot showers, clean clothes beds. They were given guns and trained to use them. The people there were kind to these girls. All that was asked in return was that they help defend the group. You see, this place had a lot of enemies, killers and thieves who wanted what they had. They needed help fighting, or they'd lose everything they built. Their crops, their power, even their lives. Kidnapping people and forcing them to fight? Sounds like slavery to me. Call it whatever you want. They were helping each other survive. One he of strikes me as the kind of person who in the modern world would be like, and her slavery dried. wasn't that bad. But the other twin, she could never forget her old home. She rejected every gift, every opportunity, stirred up trouble every chance she got. She convinced her sister to help her steal a raft and leave on the river. Of course, they didn't get far. What happened then, Minerva? I killed her. What the Jesus fuck? Jesus Christ. Minnie, no, tell me it's not true. Your own sister? Why would you do that? She was twisting my head with her lies. And? Your head got I twisted. I made a mistake. I needed to show my loyalty to the place I call home. Like it or not, you're one of my people now, Clem. The question is, which twin are you going to be? The loyal one? Or the dead one? What have you done to her head? Suck you my butt. Fucking psychotic bitch! You're evil! You are fucking evil! Y'all better back away from the door. Violet, calm down. You saw what they did to Lewis. Just do what they say. Why? So I can become a soldier in their army? Someone who kills the people they love? Fuck that! Pull the mouthy one out of the cell. They clearly didn't get the moral of the story. We'll have to help them understand. Stop! 
Don't hurt Violet, or I'll hurt you. Hey, yo, you better cool it, or you gonna get yourself hurt. Fuck no! Get off of me! Uh, Easy! Uh, Stay still! Shit! Fuck you! No! Don't make this hurt more than it has to. Come on. I'm gonna do the opposite of last Just time. Breeze. Oh boy. KJ. Oh my god. That was a lot of her ear. Oh. That's enough. He bit me. I said that's enough. Well, I saved Violet from getting her finger cut off. You deserve to die. We'll kill you. You think you can kill me? I know I can. We'll throw you in the river. I will put a knife right to the side of your head. Big talk for a little guy. <sighs> I know I can do it. I killed Marlin, and I was justified. Bang. <laughs> so you killed Marlin. I bet you'd make a great soldier. AJ, listen to me. Don't talk to her, okay? She's a monster. Clem seems to care a lot about you. Come on, let's go have a chat. Just us. Don't you fucking touch him! Clem! No, no, please! Clem inside! AJ! Keep an eye on her, Minerva. Lily, don't! Get this thing moving. I want to be far away from here. Fast. I'll start up the boiler. Oh, boy. Don't. Don't you dare look at me like that. This is the only way we survive. Who are you? Fuck survival! Look at what you're doing! Minnie, please. I just want to talk to you for a second. I'm sorry we never searched for you. For Sophie. I'm sorry we trusted that fucker Marlin. If I ever thought there was a chance. I know. I know. Okay? But Sophie's dead. You all need to understand. This is the only way. Lay down. Stay in line. Or you die. The people you love die. You just do what they say. You can live. All of you. You can have a nice life. Be rewarded. Just like I am. You can sink with the rest of them. You're the one with the people trying to kill us. Minerva! I can't let her leave! Shit! Shoot her! <laughs> just seeing how... See what they did we to Minerva is just like so I distressing. Can't leave her. Go, I'll catch up. Clem, come on! We have to get the hell out of here. Go, I need to find AJ. Better see you on land. You will. Honestly, Violet, you can leave her. Focus that energy. Sharpen it. I've known Clementine since before this all started. She'll come around. You knew me. 
a long time ago. You'll come around too, once you see what we have to offer. Found one Plenty more of food, comfortable the beds for you and Clem. You can even... Tin! Fuck. Tennessee, did you get lost? Ma'am! He wasn't alone. I got something else to show you. This way. in the herd. No wonder there were so many walkers. Must have thought you were clever leading those walkers here. Or was that Clementine's idea? Nothing to say? You don't fucking scare me. Is that so? Force your ways onto others. Because you're afraid. Because you're weak. I give my people a cause to fight for. Don't listen. The thing about people like him, AJ, fight. is that they're you're too broken to fit into a community. They won't fight for anyone but themselves. <coughs> Kill it. No! What the fuck? Easy there, Ten. Don't hurt him. Just stop hurting people. Please. Shooter! Why don't we all just take a breath, all right? Give me my friends back. Put down the gun. Let them go. All of us. Or, or else. Well, he just can't Fine. Go believe ahead, anyone else wants do to do their own thing in this world. Save your friends. That's what you came here to do, isn't it? I see. You came here to cry. Tim. Looks like you're not a soldier either. Please don't! No! Larry made a big effing mistake when he when he fathered you. Ah, oh, why does no one in this group feel pain? Oh, that was her kneecap. James is still fighting with that other one. Off now, huh? I will get put down the gun. I'll let everyone leave. My crew and I will leave. We won't bother you anymore. Oh. AJ, she's not a threat. Yes, she is. You she is dead. a serious threat. I didn't see what she did. She cut my friend's tongue out. You don't have to do this, please. It's a trick. Don't you fucking dare, AJ. What are you gonna do if he does? Punish him? Ow. Just give me the gun. You can't let her hurt anyone else. I don't want to die. Too do bad. It, AJ. For the good of humanity. No.
Yeah, look at me like that all you want. If I didn't, Billy, you'd be you dead right now. Other... What did you do? You were fucking dead. Shit, the bomb! AJ! In case it seemed, in season one, like I was not giving not giving Lily any sort of space that that's why because she is a freaking monster and that's why every single time I play this game and every time I play it in the future I will shoot her or I will have AJ shoot her she is too dangerous to keep around all her talk about I'll give up she kills James after he was the one advocating for not killing her so yeah, I regret nothing. You and 89% of players, Mercy killed Abel. You and 49% of players respected James' beliefs and killed no walkers. 49% only killed some of the walkers in James' camp. 3% ignored James' wishes. Uh, 49 plus 49 plus 3, that's 101%. You and 61% of players named the bomb Mitch's masterpiece. Six percent had a bomb named AJ. Yeah, I didn't do that last time, and Lewis got his finger chopped off. You went 53%? That's all? Told AJ to kill Lily. Only 53%. 10, MIA. 10 was grateful when you stood up for him against Lily. 10 was bothered when you said you wouldn't tell Minerva he forgave her. Yeah, I, uh, I'm sorry about that one. Minerva, MIA. Minerva was stunned when you told her Marlon killed Brody. Minerva was dejected when you said Ten would be ashamed to call her sister. Minerva felt heartsick after learning Ten forgave her. Lewis was traumatized after his time spent with the Raiders. Lewis was terrified by your promise to fight back against the Raiders. James was thankful that you respected his beliefs and spared the walkers. James was disenchanted that you didn't see there being more to walkers. James was devastated that you told AJ to kill Lily. Yeah, well, I had to. AJ felt conflicted after you killed Abel, sparing him from turning. AJ was disillusioned when you said you didn't believe you could be together as walkers. AJ felt powerful after you told him to shoot Lily. Lily. Dead. Lily was inspired to take action after you tried to protect your friends. Abel, dead. Abel felt terrified when you refused to promise him mercy. Abel felt desperate when you told him he'd be trapped inside his walker self. Violet felt romantic after you danced together. Violet was touched that you wanted to hear why she was sent to Erickson. My changes sank again. Violet felt understood after you expressed sympathy about her reason for coming to Erickson. Violet was thankful when you let AJ stop Dorian from cutting off her finger. Rosie is worried about everyone, because she's a good dog. Lily was excited that you wanted to name the bomb. Ruby was proud you did not recognize her official Erickson evaluation. Omar is MIA, a Sim is MIA. Wait, I can collect the wind chime? All right, one episode left of the final season. Of course, it will not be the final one I play, because I will be playing Michonne afterwards, and I'm going to, uh... I am going to wrap that up the day that The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live, premieres. And I am very excited to see this show. I've already seen reviews coming out, but 
and like you know they're not great, but I don't care. I need to see Rick and Michonne again. I'm sure it'll be the kind of thing that's only for Walking Dead fans, for people who've stuck with it this long. And let's face it, if you made it all 11 seasons of the main show, you want to see this show. Like, I can't imagine you don't want to see Rick and Michonne back together. The Daryl show, the Maggie Negan show, I can understand. But Rick and Michonne, like, it's a big deal. And I will be filming my reactions to it. But yeah, that will do it for this episode. You can follow me on Twitter, at NickRhymesYT. I have links to my Twitch channel and my YouTube channel there, and you can find out when I go live. That will do it for this episode.